डायग्राम understanding the question then the solving the questions will become very easy so the major the most important part which we will be dealing with in this session will be how do we draw the diagrams and then accordingly we'll solve those questions right so let's start the class without wasting any more time and uh, don't forget to like the video and share the video with your friends and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to the channel right so first thing first by see as you as i have told you the problems are going to be word problems and we will be finding out the answer using trigonometry so obviously angles will be given and the sides will be given okay the right angle triangle formation sides will be given angles will be given and we have to deal with the question so first for that angle of elevation and angle of depression first thing first let's discuss about this part so suppose what is angle of elevation let's learn that part first so suppose <coughs> let us say at here at this point you have an observer this is one observer over here okay and this observer is looking at this object over here here we have our object okay so first thing first the line which joins the observer with the object the line joining observer with the object is called line of sight what it is called it is called line of sight and one more line we can draw see so two lines will come from the eye of the observer one is the line of sight which is join the eye of the object and the eye of the observer with the object wherever he is looking so if i'm looking at suppose the tip of my finger so this will be the line of sight the other line is the horizontal line this is your horizontal line so horizontal line also will be drawn from the eye of the observer horizontal line is also going to be drawn from the eye of the observer so these are the two important things wherever the object is join the eye of the observer with the object line of sight and the other is horizontal line these two lines between these two lines only your angle of elevation or angle of depression will lie now the angle of elevation and angle of depression so you can understand both the angle of elevation and angle of depression lie between line of sight and horizontal line both of them are going to lie between these two lines only the only important part is that when the object is above the eye level when the object is above the eye level of the observer if i have to look up to look at any object in that case that angle will be called angle of elevation it will be called angle of elevation and suppose if i of the observer if observer is suppose over here so from i of the observer i can say this will be the horizontal line right this is your horizontal line and let us say this time the observer is looking down somewhere over here we have our object so the line joining i of the observer with the object this will be line of sight so in this case you can clearly see the observer is looking down so it will be angle of depression this is angle of depression that is the only difference both the angles angle of elevation as well as angle of depression both lies between the horizontal line and line of sight the only difference being that in case of angle of elevation the observer looks up in case of angle of depression observer looks down this is the only difference got it so remember this part whenever i'll say in a question angle of elevation you need to understand observer is looking at some object which is above his eye level and whenever i'll say observer is uh, the angle of depression that means the observer is looking at a point which is below his eye level okay <clears throat> so you can clearly see angle of elevation horizontal line is over here angle of elevation in this case this will be the line of sight for the plane and here this will be the line of sight for this dog got it 
चलो नाउ लेट्स मूव अहेड एंड लेट्स सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चन दिस दिस इज द बेसिक थिंग व्हिच यू शुड नो लेट्स सॉल्व सम क्वेश्चंस विद द हेल्प ऑफ द पार्ट नाउ बिफोर आई स्टार्ट सॉल्विंग दिस लेट मी टेल यू दिस थिंग दैट व्हाटएवर प्रॉब्लम्स यू आर फेसिंग वेयरएवर यू आर स्टडीइंग यू विल नॉट फेस दोस प्रॉब्लम्स एट विदांतो बिकॉज़ हियर फर्स्ट थिंग योर डाउट्स विल बी क्लियर बाय अ डेडिकेटेड टीचर नोट्स एंड असाइनमेंट्स प्रोवाइडेड आफ्टर एवरी क्लास test taken in a regular interval of time that too uh, based on your examination pattern competitive examinations like ndsc kvpy olympiad no need to go anywhere else everything will be provided at one stop then schedule that is if you miss your class because of some reason no need to bother you can always watch the recording of that class so if you watch the recording of the previous class before the next class you will feel like you have not missed out on anything you have watched the whole session you have understood everything then you can easily come for the next session uh, next session and you'll understand everything very clearly and choice of language that is hindi or english right other than that you get unlimited live classes all micro and crash courses are free of cost to you performance reports will be shared with you and personalized attention to each and every student let's move to the first question the first question is this the height of a tree is root 3 times the length of its shadow find the angle of elevation of the sun so let me tell you the meaning of this angle of elevation of the sun what does it mean suppose here i have a tree ab okay this is my tree ab and the rays will be falling at some angle on this tree such that the shadow has been formed you know the shadow has formed over here like this so i can say bc is the length of shadow and this ab is the height of the tree right now if you look at the sun rays if you look at the sun rays the sun rays will be falling at some angle right wherever is the sun suppose if the sun is at directly at top sun rays will be falling like this if the sun is somewhere at at this position sun rays will be falling like this sun is at this angle sun rays will be falling like this like that so here the the elevation of the sun means i can clearly say the rays by the if i join the tip of the tree with the tip of the shadow i can clearly say this is how the rays sun rays are traveling now the rays above it above this level are traveling like this since there is nothing in obstruction it will be you can see the ground over here the rays below this point will be struck by the height of the tree so this part will be forming a shadow so angle of elevation of the sun means the angle it means angle at which sun rays falls on ground what is the meaning of angle of elevation of the sun the meaning of angle of elevation of the sun is the angle at which the sun rays falls on the ground so here you can clearly see the sun rays are falling on the ground so the angle at which they are falling on the ground is this so this is your theta so this theta we need to find out this theta we need to find out okay they have told height of the tree uh, tree is root 3 times of its shadow so i can say ab is equal to root 3 times of bc that is what is given in the question right now to get this angle see in this triangle i know about two sides one is i know what is ab and one know i know what is bc so for this theta the side opposite to theta will be a perpendicular and the side adjacent to theta will be a base so which trigonometric ratio deals with perpendicular and base tan theta or cot theta so i will say tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base so tan theta i can write ab as root 3 times of bc upon bc bc to bc got cancelled so tan theta is equal to root 3 tan theta is equal to root 3 and i know tan theta is root 3 when theta is 60 degree only at tan 60 degree we will get the answer as root 3 right so from these two i can clearly say that means if tan theta is root 3 theta will be equal to 60 degree so the angle of elevation of the sun will be 60 degree got it let's move ahead now the next part an observer 1.5 meter tall is 30 meter away from a chimney The angle of elevation of the top of the chimney from his eyes is 60 degree. Find the height of the chimney. Now see, the important thing if you will see over here, the observer's height is also given. Okay, so if the height of the observer is given, 
we need to consider that in the diagram we need to consider that in the diagram if the height of the observer is not given no need to consider that in the diagram so suppose this is my ground level okay here suppose this chimney this is the chimney part okay ab is your chimney and the observer is standing over here okay uh, let's say cd this is the height of the observer and this is given as 1.5 meter they are saying angle of elevation of the top of the chimney from his eyes so eyes will be at the top so from the top that is point c if i join it with point a point c if i join it with point a this is going to be line of sight right then the second thing from the eye of the observer if i draw a horizontal line let's say point e this will be your horizontal line so angle between these two will be your angle of elevation and this angle of elevation is given as 60 degree correct got it that is what the question was saying now we need to find out height of the chimney that is ab what is ab i need to focus on that part correct beta ab dekho bhai first thing i can clearly say ki sir one thing i know for sure that this b e c d is a right angle triangle this part is 90 degree here this is also 90 perpendicular now vertical lines horizontal line are perpendicular so all are perpendicular to each other so this is a rectangle so c d and b e will be equal c e and b d will be equal so i have i can clearly say sir b e is equal to c d both are equal to 1.5 meter and then b d is equal to c e the length i don't know right so i can say if c e is 1 point c d is 1.5 meter b e also is 1.5 meter right now the only thing which is left is your height of a e Achha, one more thing is given i forgot about that that the length the observer is 30 meter away from the chimney so this b d is 30 meters is 30 meter away from the chimney so ce also is going to be 30 meters so both are equal to 30 meters now i need to find the length ae so for the length ae you will see that sir it is better if i consider the triangle aec so in triangle aec see i have to find out ae so ae must be included in that ratio second thing i know ce so for this theta this side is perpendicular this side is base so the ratio which deals with perpendicular and base is what 10 theta so i can say 10 60 degree in this triangle aec will be ae upon ce 10 60 is root 3 is equal to ae which i don't know upon ce is 30 meters so shift over there so ae is equal to 30 root 3 meters so final length of AB will be equal to 30 root 3 AE plus BE which is 1.5 meter. So this 30 root 3 you can convert into decimal by multiplying 30 with 1.732 plus 1.5. So when you will do that you will get your final answer. Okay. So the final answer is going to be approximately this will be approximately 53.4. 30 into root 3 will be equal to what? 1.73 into 30 it will do you will get your answer part okay this is how you can get your answer very easily now let's go for the next question the next question we have is this a kite is attached to a string find the length of the string when the height of the kite is 60 meter and the string makes an angle of 30 degree with the ground again a very easy question kite is attached to the string so kite is somewhere over here let's say point a height of the kite remember height is always taken as perpendicular to the ground so height of the kite is given as 60 meters okay this makes an and the string makes an angle of 30 degree with the ground so this is your string right you are standing over here observer is standing over here okay so this is 30 degree now what they are saying find the length of the string this length of the string that means suppose a b c so i have to find out what is a c so in this part for this is the theta this is the hypotenuse and this side opposite to theta will be a perpendicular so perpendicular is given theta is known i have to find the hypotenuse 
साइकिन से पॉपेंडिकुलर हाइपोटेनियस साइन थीटा और कॉसेक थीटा लेट्स यूज साइन थीटा सो आई कैन से साइन थीटा इज इक्वल टू पॉपेंडिकुलर व्हिच इज ए बी अपॉन ए सी सो साइन 30 डिग्री साइन 30 डिग्री ए बी इज 60 अपॉन ए सी व्हिच आई डोंट नो साइन 30 इज व्हाट 1 बाय 2 सो 1 बाय 2 इज इक्वल टू 60 बाय ए सी क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई ए सी इज इक्वल टू 120 मीटर्स एज सिंपल एज दैट so ac the length of the string will be equal to what 120 meters so you need to draw the diagram very carefully you can clearly see once i have drawn the diagram the questions will be solved like this major important thing is how do you understand the diagram how do you draw it that is the most important part okay now let's move ahead so before i move ahead as you all know vedantu students have done wonders in the je advanced results if you also want some uh, source of preparation where you can prepare at the comfort of your home and you will be at home no need to go anywhere outside and your je preparation will be going on quite well vidantu is the best stop for you all the result speaks for itself so all of you are more than welcome to join vidantu now let's go for the next question at a particular time when the sun's altitude i have told you sun's altitude or the angle of elevation of the sun all means the same thing that is the angle at which the sun ray falls on the ground so at a particular time when the sun's altitude is 30 degree the length of the shadow of vertical tower is 45 meter calculate the length of the tower and length of the shadow of the length of the shadow of the same tower when the sun's altitude is option a 45 degree then 60 degree so first important thing is to get the length of the tower okay so let's solve the first part by according to the question when the sun rays are falling at an angle of 30 degree when the sun rays are falling at an angle of 30 degree let's say triangle abc okay so we can say the length of the shadow is 45 meter length of the shadow is 45 meter what is the height of this vertical tower that i don't know so for this theta base is known perpendicular we need to find out tan theta is the best point so tan 30 degree is equal to ab upon bc so tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is equal to ab upon bc shift bc is what sorry 45 bc is 45 so ab will be equal to 45 by root 3 if you want you can simplify this part into root 3 into root 3 rationalize this so you will be getting 45 root 3 by 3 which is 15 root 3 so height of the tower is 15 root 3 meters height of the tower is 15 root 3 meters now i know the height of the towers length of the shadow can be found very easily how by first case let's take the first case so here height of the tower will not change the with the sun's elevation height of the tower will not change only thing the shadow length will change so let us say this is 45 degree okay shadow length we don't know so let's say ab and this is c so shadow length bc we need to find out clearly say tan 45 degree is equal to h upon bc tan 45 is 1 height is 15 root 3 so 1 is equal to 15 root 3 upon bc so from here you got bc is equal to 15 root 3 meters so in this case the shadow length also is 15 root 3 meters only right second case take angle of elevation to be 60 degree like this so this point it is 60 degree let's say this is the tower over here height is small h which is 15 root 3 and let's say this shadow length we don't know let's take it as a point d okay this we don't know so again i will say so tan 60 degree is equal to h upon bd tan 60 is root 3 is equal to h which i know is 15 root 3 divided by bd what is bd bd is equal to what root sorry bd which we need to find out what i am writing root 3 bd we need to find out correct so let us write this as bd so you will get bd is equal to 15 root 3 upon root 3 so you are getting your answer as 15 meters right so you can clearly see as the angle of elevation or the sun's altitude is increasing the shadow length will decrease right that is very correct 
so this is how you can find out this solution so when the sun's altitude will increase the shadow lens will automatically decrease you can clearly see why if the sun's angles are the rays are coming more flat the shadow lens will be more if the rays are coming more steep the shadow lens will be less okay in this case you can clearly understand got it <clears throat> now let's go for the next question the next question is this a vertical tower stands on a horizontal plane vertical tower is there that is on a horizontal plane and is surmounted by a vertical flag staff of height 6 meter that means there is a tower and on the top of the tower there is a flag and that is of height 6 meter at a point on the plane the angle of elevation of the bottom of the flag staff is 30 degree and that of the top of the flag staff is 60 degree find the height of the uh, tower use root 3 is equal to 1.732 so what you can do here beta look at the diagram carefully by suppose this is your tower okay let's say this is your tower okay this is your tower on the top of this tower we have a flag staff of height 6 meters chalo let's say here something like this so its height is given as 6 meters right so from a point on the ground if i find out the angle of elevation of the bottom of the flag staff that is 30 degree and if i find out the angle of elevation of the top of the flag staff with this point then this will be equal to what 60 degree so we need to find out the height of the tower let us take the height of the tower as small h right let us take the height of the tower as small h okay sir let us take it as small h now you can clearly see i have got two different triangles let's say this is a point a b c and d so height of the tower will be equal to bc i need to find out the length of bc so let's use the trigonometric ratio in both the triangles right let's do that and then we will solve for this part you know then we will solve for this so first let us talk about the triangle bcd okay triangle bcd so i can clearly say that sir a in triangle bcd i have angle as 30 degree so tan 30 degree why i am taking tan because this bc is the common distance bc is the common distance and h i need to find out so bc is the common distance for both the triangles acd and bcd so i will say is equal to h upon cd tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is equal to h upon cd so h you are getting as cd or cd you are getting as h root 3 better to take cd as h root 3. so from here i have got cd is equal to h root 3 meters yes meters okay this is the height uh, this is the distance cd so this in terms of h will be h root 3 now let's go for the next triangle which is triangle acd next triangle triangle acd so now i can say that sir in triangle acd in triangle acd i can say tan 60 degree is equal to ac ac upon cd tan 60 is root 3 AC is H plus six. By sorry, AC is H plus six. Obviously, H plus six meters divided by CD, which we have just got is H root three. Shift H root three over there. So H root three into root three will be equal to three H. So three H is equal to H plus six. Shift H over there. Two H is equal to six. So from here I can clearly say H is equal to three meters. so from here we can clearly understand the height of the tower small h is equal to 3 meters you can clearly understand how important it is to draw the diagram in these questions how important it is to draw the diagram in these questions first i have drawn a tower on that a 6 meter flag 
then I have made two right angle triangles from the one is triangle ACD, one is triangle BCD, used tan theta in both and got the value of H. Got it? So diagram plays a very important role. Let's go for the next question now. Next question is this. Two poles of equal heights are standing opposite to each other on either side of the road which is 80 meter wide. From a point between them on the road, from a point P between them on the road, the angle of elevation of the top of one pole is 60 degree and angle of depression of from the top of another pole at P is 30 degree. Find the height of each pole and distances of the point P from the poles. Uh, don't be afraid by the questions ki, oh, oh sir this big question it is. Let's draw the diagram by reading the part one by one. First thing we got to know there are two poles of equal heights standing opposite to each other on either side of a road. So one is on this side one is on that side of a road which is 80 meter wide. So I got to know ki, sir there is a road. There is a road which is 80 meter wide, one, ta one pole is over here, another pole is over here and the main thing to notice is both are of equal height. So this is of height H, this is also of height H. Okay. Now there is a point P between them on the road. So between doesn't mean in the middle. Between means anywhere, somewhere in the middle, anywhere. It can be here also, here also. They are saying in such a way angle of elevation of the top of one pole is 60 degrees. So let us say point P is somewhere over here. So angle of elevation of top of one pole will be 60 degree. And the angle of depression from the top of another pole at P. So from another pole at P if I join it. <coughs> from P to this point H okay and here if I take the horizontal line this is the angle of depression they are saying got it so instead of giving you directly ki this angle is 30 degree if they have just made one more step made the question a bit confusing that from the top of another pole the angle of depression of the point P so from the top of another pole join it with P horizontal line over here this angle is 30 so by interior alternate angle this angle again will be 30 degree as simple as that. Now I know ki, sir, this total, the total road, this road is of length 80 meters. The width of the road is given as 80 meters. I don't know by P lies at what, what distance, right? P lies at what distance. So I will say, ki, chalo, sir, let us take this point as X. So this will automatically become 80 minus X remaining distance. Right? Correct. That is true. So this is how I have drawn my diagram. Now let's name it. So let's say it is A, B and this is C, D. And at the middle we have a point P. So two triangles we have. Let's use the uh, trigonometric ratios in both. So first I can talk about the triangle. Any triangle I can talk. Let's say we will talk about triangle C, D, P. Okay. <clears throat> so in triangle C, D, P I can say tan 60 degree is equal to h by x. Tan 60 is what? Root 3 is equal to h by x. So first let us do one thing. Let's see what is h equal to. So h is equal to x root 3. Okay. Now I know I have this, re I have this relation that h is equal to x root 3. Whatever is the value of x I am getting, that value of x I will multiply with root 3 to get the value of h. This is my first equation. Then let's go for the second triangle. The second triangle is triangle ABP. So now I will say, sir, in triangle ABP, we have tan 30 degree is equal to H upon 80 minus X. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3 is equal to H upon 80 minus X. Cross multiply, so 80 minus X is equal to H root 3 is equal to H root 3. Now I know what is h, h is equal to x root 3. So let us replace that value. So 80 minus x is equal to in place of x, sorry in place of h, 
write x root 3. I have replaced h with x root 3 from the equation 1 and it is not only h, it is h root 3. So, h multiplied with one more root 3. Correct? So, it will become 80 minus x is equal to x root 3 into root 3 is 3x. Shift minus x over there. So, 80 is equal to 4x. So, x is equal to 80 by 4 which is equal to 20 meters. So, I have got x as 20 meters. Now, from equation 1, I know h is equal to x root 3. So, I can clearly say, ki, sir, h is equal to x root 3 that is equal to 20 into root 3 meters. If you want, you can convert it into the decimal part. So, what we have learned, beta, that suppose if this is one pole, this is another pole. So, height of the poles is 20 root 3 meters. The pole which was making an angle of 60 degree with the part, we have taken that distance is x. So, this distance is 20 meters. And from the another, where this angle was 30. So, by interior alternate angle, this was also 30. So, this distance will be 80 minus 20, which is 60 meters. So, this is the point how point P is the situation, how, how point P is situated. Got it? So, you can clearly understand, beta, the importance of diagram. Once we got to know the diagram, everything is sorted. Everything is sorted. You can, all of you can solve that part very easily. Got it? So, this is how we'll solve this question. Now, I'm giving you one homework question for today. <clears throat> this is your homework question. From the top of a tower, 100 meter high, a man observes two cars on the opposite sides of the tower. Read this part very carefully. They are saying on the opposite sides of the tower. So, suppose tower is somewhere over here. So, point one car is somewhere over here, one car is somewhere over here. On the opposite sides of the tower. One is on the left side, one is on the right side. Like that. Think about it. Find the distance between the cars. This will be your question. Okay, beta. Now, as I was telling you, the link for the registration for the Vedantus Pro subscription is given in the description box and it is also the pinned comment in the comment section. Just go there, okay, and select your grade 10th ICAC 2021, get subscription and here you can choose for one month, three months, six months. The best part over here is that the price is directly at 50% 50, 50 off and this is only for three days. This is only for three days. So be quick, apply that coupon GPE Pro, 50% off you will get. This is like an opportunity which is once in a blue moon. Do not miss this opportunity because now the prices are going to be very less. Okay, everywhere flat 50%. So the best will be to get for 6 months or for 3 months because the prices are now 50% off. And the second important thing is all the subjects it covers. It covers maths, physics, chemistry, biology, SST and English. All the 6 major subjects will be covered under this series. So very, you are, all of you are more than welcome to join me at Vedantus Pro courses. Got it, beta? So this is the code. Link is in the description box as well as the pinned comment in the comment section. Got it? So this is all from my side here. I hope all of you enjoyed the session and you understood the questions properly. And as I'm telling you very clearly, the most important thing is to draw the diagram. So focus more over there. Try to draw the diagram for the questions and then solution is very easy for you all. So thank you so much, Bacho, for coming to the session. I hope all of you understood this part. And uh, once again, thank you so much. Please don't forget to like the video, share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Thank you so much. Okay, so I'll see you soon in the next class. Till then, bye-bye. Sayonara, khuda to all of you. Bye-bye.